Hey, good morning. Today's a new day and it's Monday. I'm on day six of the ultimate reset, feeling good, sleeping well. Hot flashes are pretty much gone, probably 90%, and that's on six days. Pretty good. Um, today, a new, today's a new day concept is um, uh, our ability to think that at any moment we can change our lives by changing our thinking, by uh, learning something, incorporating something new into our day every day. So, every day, I'm trying to share some, some insight with you, whether it be about uh, you know, the way that we think and how we create our life, the way that we eat and how we feel, and how we can live longer and healthier and happier. Uh, today I wanted to talk about diabetes, and I uh, wanted to shift the focus a little bit more back onto nutrition, since that's what I'm deep into right now. Um, why do we get diabetes? Why is this country uh, being overrun with um, this condition? It's very simple. Most of us are eating processed foods, something that's in a bag, in a box, or in a can. And when it gets in those packages from its whole food state, it becomes refined. A lot of things are stripped away, a lot of things are um, lost in the processing. And when we lose those um, valuable nutrients and fiber and micronutrients and um, phytoestrogens um, and all of the things that are just stripped away in processing, our body then sees these, this food that used to be you know, whole and nutritious now as um, a very, very easily broken down sugar. So when body, the body sees sugar, its response is turn insulin on through the pancreas to process that sugar into the cells. The more the body sees this refined sugar by eating cereal, eating pasta, eating everything that we eat in a fast-paced fast day, you are now overloading your body with refined sugar, basically. It doesn't matter whether it's a cracker, it's a bagel, it's a piece of bread, it's a potato, it's pasta, it's anything in a box. The pancreas is pumping insulin and pumping insulin and pumping insulin. Now, the insulin is going to drive the sugar into the cells. But when it's getting overloaded like that, the insulin also creates fat. So if it can't get all the sugar into the cells, it's gonna store it. So there's this other mechanism that comes into play where now insulin is working at storing fat because we're overloading the system on a daily basis. Orange juice, apple juice, sodas, all this thing, stuff that gets put into your mouth is really, really seen as refined sugar. So this now the system is sort of thwarted. And instead of getting the sugar and just breaking it down and the body using it, this far too much, so it gets stored as fat. Now the insulin can't even work at getting the sugar into the muscles because its primary objective is to turn it into fat. Therefore, we get fatter and fatter and fatter. The pancreas also gets more and more stressed by pumping out so much insulin, which is why people become type 2 diabetics. Their insulin also becomes less helpful in the body, and it becomes weaker in a sense. So diabetes is really brought about by how we eat, and we can fix that. If you try to focus on eating things that are not packaged, things that are natural, eating an apple, eating an orange, I cringe when I see people drink orange juice because if they would just eat the orange, they would get so many more nutrients, more, more fiber, more of the great, great, great um, uh, valuable products that are in these fruits and vegetables than eating them processed. So, thought for the day, eat more whole foods. Don't eat things from packages. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. Bye.